Welcome back to Emotional Mojo. You know, by the time our next guest graduated high school, he had already climbed Mount Kilimanjaro and trekked through Machu Picchu like it's nothing. At 14, he appeared on Oprah, and now at 21 years old, he's busy planning a wedding and helping others travel the U.S. sight unseen. Welcome, Kyle Kuhn. Kyle, we are so happy to have you. Well, thank you very much for having me here today. And you know, that list, certainly more accomplishments than most, but what's especially inspiring is that you proudly do it all without your vision. I mean, share with our viewers how a rare form of eye cancer changed your life. Well, when I was 10 months old, I was diagnosed with a rare childhood cancer called retinoblastoma. And basically this disease attacked my retinas and the doctors wanted to remove my eyes immediately so that they, we could just get rid of the cancer. But um, my parents decided that we were gonna try and fight it. So I went through five or six years of chemo, radiation. Five or six years? <laughs> yeah, just five or six years of just intensive cancer treatment. And when I was five years old, the cancer and the treatment really had just done so much damage to my, to my eyes that we had to remove my left eye. And then a year later, pretty much the same exact thing happened to my right eye. So by mm -hmm. the time I was six, I was totally blind. And you know, you say you went through a period of feeling down on yourself. I mean, how did you break free of that? And what have you done since? Well, I, I did go through just a little depression stage, a period where I was feeling sorry for myself, but I met... Are we um, talking about a very young age, Kyle? Are we talking about age was, seven, age I, eight? Because you lost I was your six, sight. Se six, seven years old. And, um, but fortunately for me, shortly after you know, I turned seven, um, I met a world-class blind athlete named Eric Weinmare. And you know, now he's famously known for being the first blind man to climb Mount Everest and yeah, the mm -hmm. seven summits and all this stuff. But he was just getting into um, all the mountaineering and he was preparing for Everest and doing all this stuff right when I met him and he really just encouraged me to you know, not limit myself to live a life with no barriers, a life without limits and to just live my life to basically the fullest extent I possibly could. And we're showing photos now of all the different things that you've done. I mentioned a few a little while ago. Um, what's your favorite accomplishment so far? Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, there, there's a lot of favorite accomplishments. Um, definitely Machu Picchu, uh, hooking up with Global Explorers and climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Those are definitely some great, great experiences. Probably the most, I don't know if it's a favorite, but the most intense and toughest experience I've had was uh, back in 2010, I made an attempt with my climbing team to climb Gannett Peak, which is the tallest mountain in Wyoming. And I unfortunately had to turn around 2,000 feet below the summit wow. uh, because I had half dollar size blisters on my oh heels. Oh my but, gosh. Um, <laughs> and we had a 26 mile hike out. So, so it's it was... certainly <laughs> inspirational, but for, for everyone, what is your message to those visually impaired or not? Well, basically what I want to tell people is live your life without limits, but you know, don't, don't be afraid of failure. Don't, you know, you have to, live and experience the journey along the way. You know, I live my life in a 360 degree perspective. I don't just rely on my I don't rely on sight, so I have to rely on my taste, my touch, my smell, my hearing. So, and everybody can do that. I just, I'm in more tuned with it, I guess. Everyone has the same capabilities. So live your life without limits, but live it in 360 degrees. Yeah. Kyle, you're That's certainly awesome. inspiration. Thank you for joining us. And congratulations on, on your, your engagement, engagement yeah. by the way. <laughs> we had to mention much. that. Thank you for being with us.